Hello everyone, this is Chinwai from Make Auto Clinic. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to discuss about how to fix up old cast iron engine rocker boxes. I'm particularly talking about only old engine cast iron engines that is also and only about the rocker boxes. Avial engine has got a rocker so I'm not going to discuss about that and in fact it is not related to that as well. Uh, in UC engine, of course you will you, you may say that in that also that engine also has got rocker box but uh, fitting of that rocker box is a little bit different than the older engine. So let's check out the video and I hope you will enjoy this video. So these are the studs, rocker box studs and this is the rocker box half. Let me just uh, settle down with the camera first because I want to show you everything in detail. I I don't want you to miss anything. I am keeping myself, I mean, uh, vernier handy with me just to show you. But you can make out just by seeing the uh, stud. Let me just settle down again. View has to be perfect so you can, you know, see. Of course, when you are working on the bike, you can uh, make out more precisely rather than the video because you will be handling that material. So these are this is the stud basically and the stud has got different uh, types of thread I mean in the length I'm talking about particularly only length uh, this is uh, this stud has got um, uh, one side smaller thread and one side longer thread longer thread should go to the head and the smaller thread is given for tightening the rocker box so those threads are basically given uh, just to understand that uh, you should not fix up the studs wrong way now this is the uh, this is the guide stud it's very important both the studs are having different diameter different thread length uh, if if the guide uh, uh, stud is not there then the rocker box will keep on moving around lateral play will be there but uh, because of the guide stud there will be zero lateral play and uh, the thread length is also one side smaller one side longer of course this stud has got one more uh, point which i would like to show you it has got a stopper point the stud cannot be uh, fitted on the head uh, after particular limit it will get settled down on the head surface automatically because it has got a stopper point now if you look at this stud the diameter of the stud is little tighter side so the, um, the rocker box uh, will not move around at all because it's a guide stud but if you look at this hole then the stud is moving around a lot there is a play that means the position for the uh, guide stud is different right i mean the holes are different so these are these uh, studs has to be fitted diagonally at first place number two normal stud will fit anywhere so the, the, here is the mistake what generally we do that we think that all the studs are common it is not like that both the studs are uncommon basically and of course thread lengths are same but um, uh, one one stud is normal stud another st guide stud has got two different key points so that is what i wanted to show you now I'll show you how to do the assembly. I mean, exactly what happens if you don't, uh, you know, if you mismatch the thread length and uh, number one, and if you install the studs wrong way, then what will happen? The whole load because of the wall spring comes on the head thread and so on the stud thread. So when you, uh, when you, you know, start the bike, there is a possibility that if there is a less grip in the stud um, thread, because if the smaller thread, if you use it for fixing. Uh, or if you put the smaller thread in the head then there will be less grip so the threads will snap out very easily it will, it will trim out very easily so you have to understand one thing that the longer thread should go to head and the smaller thread is for the rocker tightening that is for the nut what uh, company has given there are total four studs for each rocker box and four of course nuts for the each box now nuts uh, nut sizes are same there is no difference only thing is that you have to fix up diagonally as you can see black studs are basically hardened studs and these are uh, guiding studs length is different and there is a small collar it's a stopper point it you can't uh, you know tight the stud after a particular limit don't forget that these are the main key points of the rocker boxes fitting style in older engines, cast iron engine only, I'm talking about UC engine is completely different even though it has got a rocker box as I mentioned in the introduction. Now you can see there is no play at all because this uh, guide studs are basically holding up the rocker box tightly. It's a quite, quite, quite snug fit I can say. So uh, this stud is going to be here, collar side, the stopper side is going to be at the bottom. And diagonally of course you have to fix up, now it will stop. I can't tight more than that, right? 
so don't use any stud uh, uh, you know tightening or removal tool at all you can just do it by hand if the threads are clean and clear as you can see this is the stopper point the length and stopper point very much important for topic uh, diameter is uh, different than the regular stud and it has to be fitted diagonally and most important thing you can fix up the rocker boxes without starting the bike most of the time i have seen that people start the bike and then do the rocker tightening don't do that now you can see longer and smaller length of the thread longer thread is going to be inside the head smaller thread is given for the rocker tightening it will go by just by hand tight should not snap out that's the reason that the thread uh, threads are different now if i put the rocker box it won't move at all that means if so if you, if you start the bike then what will happen the whole load will, will come on the threads on the uh, on the stud length uh, stud threads when you start the bike so don't uh, start the bike and tight the rocker box i'll show you this is the important thing now now uh, when you are tightening yes of course you have to do the sequential tightening of the nut do not tight in line you have to do that sequential sequence is important washers there will be uh, one each i mean one washer for each stud one nut for each stud threads are common there is no sequence but tightening sequence is there so sequential uh, tightening is very much important of course you'll have to use uh, inches span over here you can't use mm i have not started the bike i don't do that because it doesn't require it may bend i mean the studs may get bent the rocker box may get bent the you know, both the threads the stud thread and the nut thread and the head thread may get get damaged if you start the bike so you don't need to because the valve springs are having very high tension and threads are not made to absorb that tension it is for the tightening purpose it is not for absorbing the tension i have to do sequential uh, tightening quarter quarter each that is also diagonally that's the best method this is my method and i have found it very uh, no effective when i have i have worked on the engines it's a very simple method and there is a logic behind it once you understand that then clear to go so thanks for watching this video i hope you have you like the information what i have shared with you on the net uh this is the most important thing and which we always you know keep on forgetting around and because of that we end up uh, you know having damaged thread so i hope you will not do such kind of a mistake and you will rectify your uh, assembly method after seeing this thanks for watching have a great day